can sell your home, but it's not pretty. You don't need to fix it up in order to get a cash offer. As a matter of fact, we just recently spoke to our pal Leith Levada, virtually, of course. He is the guy who could put money in your pocket for that home. That's kind of ugly. Take a look. All right, so let's say you want to sell your home, but there are things that are getting in the way. First of all, you need to go real fast, maybe. You need to get out of the house. You don't have time for the traditional sale. Or maybe your home's in such disrepair that a typical mortgage can't be placed on that home. If these are the cases, you're going to want to talk to our next guest, Leith Levada. He is a real estate expert investor and a real estate broker with First Time First Prime Realty Group, rather. And he's joining us now to talk about how he can buy your home for cash right away. How are you, Leith? Good to talk to you again. Great. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right, so let's talk about the types of homes that you're buying and the sellers that you're buying from. The situations can differ. You know, I buy from sellers who have unwanted properties that they need to sell quickly. Uh, sometimes the sellers don't even have an, an unwanted house necessarily. They just want to sell and they want to uh, avoid all the entanglements of putting their property on the market, going through traditional real estate agent, having people come in and out of their house. I mean, we know right now, even still, you know, people are trying to cut down on how many people are going in and out of their house yeah. and, and still play it safe that way. And so that's important to a lot of people. And, you know, you've got to leave the house, let people show, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of benefit to having a cash buyer like myself come in, have a guaranteed sale price, uh, close quickly with cash on the seller's time frame. And those are the type of sellers we're buying from, as well as those sellers can't fix up the home and don't have the money to fix up the home don't have the time to fix up the home and so that's where i can come in in a lot of different scenarios and help help these sellers get get the house liquidated get their cash out very quick yeah we'll talk about how fast you can do that in just a moment but i think there's a curiosity here you know when you buy the properties what do you end up doing with them well i can do a, a few different things with these properties Sometimes we keep them in our rental portfolio for a long-term uh, rental. So we hold those properties and we rent them out after we fix them up. And then other times what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and uh, fix these properties up, put them on the market for sale after we fix them up to a traditional loan buyer that couldn't have bought the property before because they didn't have money to, to repair the property and, and the seller you know, wouldn't have get sometimes as much as what they would get with us yeah. And the property might have fallen out because of inspection reasons, because of roofs, because of you name it, mold, uh, you know, backyard with a pool, that sort of thing. So those are the things that we do with the properties. And these, these are very helpful for the homeowner because now they can close on the property on their time frame. The other thing I might add, too, is that there's no real estate commissions on the properties I buy. I can uh, pay for closing costs on the property. The homeowner can leave what they don't want in the property and we earn what we make on the property. So we pay market value for the property and we go in and we add to it. Like we, we may add square footage, we remodel the homes, we may redesign the home, uh, we do the repairs that need to be done. Mm -hmm. And so we earn what we make off of the property when we go and put that back on the market. So the homeowner can sell what the property's worth right now. And then we go in and we earn what we make on the property by what we do with it in the future or if we turn it into a rental property. Which is excellent. And you were mentioning uh, no uh, real estate commissions. That's the one thing with your typical sale. You get the 3% for the buying agent, the 3% for the selling agent. Then a percent goes to the title and the closing. It can add up after a while. The fact that there are no fees. The other thing that you see with some of the other you know companies that are out there is they'll give you an offer. But then immediately it starts to drop. They're like, oh, we got to do this, 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 and this. And all of a sudden your offer is kind of a fraction. The number you give is the number you get. Well, that's right. I mean, we take a look at the property. We talk to the homeowner. We make sure that the, the price that we're putting in up front is the price that we can close on. There's a lot of companies out there now, that, like you just said, they'll put the property under contract uh, to buy. And then they'll come back in and renegotiate later. And that's one of the things that we absolutely um, shy away from. We do not like to do that at all uh, to the homeowner. The homeowner comes in, we lock in the price, and then we close on the sale on the seller's time frame. And that's really the way it should be done. And it can be done that way. And there is a lot of, um, you know, maybe international iBuyers out there, uh, big companies out there who don't do that, unfortunately. We're a local buyer. We care about our sellers and we care about our business model. 
And so the price that we give you is the price that we want to close on. We're running out of time and some people that are trying to sell their homes are running out of time as well. How fast can you purchase a property? Uh, is, is it a thing of speed or can be kind of done on the schedule of the seller? Well, yeah, it's based on the seller, what they need, what they want. Um, it's on their time frame, not ours. We've bought homes in as little as uh, 30 days before, I'm sorry, a little three days before wow. even. Uh, but if a seller needs to sell in three days to get their personal belongings together, they need to sell in 60 or 90 days because maybe they've inherited a property and they just want to lock down the closing date, the price, be ready to move and take care of things so they have that piece of the transaction taken care of. That's really helpful for sellers who are worried about what they're going to do if they got to move out, get another place. They want to make sure that this property closes so the next property they purchase or move into as a rental or whatever the situation may be, they have a date, a deadline, uh, and, uh, and cash that they need in their pocket to meet. And that's where it's very important to have a cash buyer like ourselves lined up. And it makes the process so much easier when you have that. And, and I might add that they can leave what they don't want in the property. We will take care of it for them. So if they have unwanted furniture, belongings, that sort of stuff that they need extra time to move out, don't worry about it. Just leave it. We'll take care of it. Awesome. We've run out of time. Latham, I'm going to point people in the right direction if they want to sell their home to you. Great to talk to you, my friend. Thank you. All right. For a 24-hour cash offer, boom. No obligation. Simple, easy, guaranteed, and quick. 702-803-2729. It's 702-803-2729.